Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Alberto Yaliz. Uh, I work at Quetzal Group, as they said before, and the Loads Analysis Group. Uh, um, today, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, uses we, we give to ENCODE in the no Loads Analysis Group. First of all, I would like to talk about the Loads Analysis Group. We are a virtual multibody dynamics group uh, for the durability area in Chrysler, which is a critical part for the engineering community. We perform calculations for the component uh, uh, for the component loads, for the suspension uh, components, frame and body attachment, and also powertrain mounts. Uh, we do this analysis using Adams, Motion View, and ENCODE. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about, about the powertrain analysis, uh, hybrid analysis, uh, which is a critical part for the powertrain mounts development because the loads at the powertrain mounts they have a uh, direct impact in the durability and the fatigue life of the, of the mounts. In the picture, we can see a powertrain uh, system, north-south oriented. Uh, we have the, three, the left engine mount, right engine mount, and transmission mount. So the analysis begin with, uh, with our acquisition engineers, which, by the way, they do a great job. These guys, uh, they collect all the, uh, the accelerations using three actual accelerometers that are, that are uh, positioned next to the powertrain mounts. These accelerometers, they are collecting the accelerations from all the events of uh, durability schedule, which is going to represent uh, the use of the, our final customers are going to give to the vehicles or to the trucks. Once we have the, power uh, the measure accelerations, we are going to calculate the accelerations of the powertrain CG. Once we calculate the powertrain CG accelerations, we are going to back calculate the accelerations to, the, to each of the mounts, so we can have a, an, so we can uh, have a good correlate. Uh, we can be sure that we are doing a good job in calculating accelerations. Once we calculate the accelerations of the powertrain CG. We're going to build up our virtual model for the powertrain system. Uh, so we're going to input the MOI properties for the powertrain. We are also going to input the stiffness rates for the powertrain mounts. And also, we're going to introduce the torque and thrust load, which are measured from that position, and the calculated powertrain accelerations. Having all this information, we are going to run our analysis using Adams solver. And after running the analysis, we're going to get back an Adams REQ file which is going to contain all the displacement forces and user request loads uh, and user requests that we have. So this is a general uh, explanation of the powertrain hybrid analysis. And now I'm going to talk about how we are using ENCODE for supporting the pre-process and the post-process of this analysis. In the past, we used to uh, work with MATLAB for calculating the aggregates, of the, the aggregates for the powertrain CG. But what does that imply? Because using MATLAB, we have to work with a different file format, and also we, uh, we have to build up different scripts for running in MATLAB, so we have to run it in two different parts, which implies some work and some time for our the engineers. Now, what we are currently doing at Chrysler, it's we are running all, we are calculating all the aggregate accelerations using just one, uh, one flow from ENCODE. Here we can see that, um, it can be divided in four parts, the input parts, the calculations, the correlation part, and the outputs. I'm going to explain part by part uh, the flow. In the first part, we have the inputs, uh, which is we are going to use our measure accelerations. And in the input glyph, work, uh, in the input glyph we are going to fill up all the parameters of the accelerometers, like the position of the accelerometers, the coordinates of the CG for the powertrain, the polarity of the channels, the, if we want to filter the channels, we're going we're gonna to filter them uh, here as well. And it gives us the capability of using more than two or three accelerometers. We can use up to eight accelerometers if they build up the test like that. Now, for the calculation part, we have that scripting glyph, which is the one that is calculating the aggregates. Uh, it's using a, it's using the inverse matrix for obtaining the pseudo, um, the pseudo inverse of the matrix. And from that, we, it's going to calculate the uh, aggregate well accelerations at the CG point from the measured ones at each location. 
This is script and glyph, what it's doing, it's, we just have to copy the, our script that we were using at MATLAB and just paste it in there. So we didn't, we didn't have to do any extra work from that. We just copy and paste. And that's where we're calculating the accelerations. Here we have the, cal um, the calculated and linear rotational accelerations, which are gonna be our outputs. Then we have the correlation between the measured and the calculated accelerations. And here we have a cross plot, which is gonna show us how good or how well we are doing in the, in the analysis. And finally, we have a quantitative correlation, all, all the quantitative correlation measurements, which are the R squared, the slope, and the intercept. Uh, and at the end of the clip, we are gonna have all the outputs, which can be in whichever format you want, RSP, DAC files, S3T, doesn't matter. So the importance of using ENCODE against MATLAB is that in ENCODE, we can do everything in just one step. And we have, and also it's user-friendly, since we have all the plots, we can work with them uh, whichever way we want. Now, before we have to create different scripts for the, all the powertrain analysis we were doing, and after that, we have to convert the files and run the, uh, the MATLAB <coughs> program to different steps. So we are saving some time and some working here. Now, I'm gonna talk about the post-process part of how we are using ENCODE. Uh, before we were uh, creating, s building scripts, since from the powertrain analysis, our output is gonna be an REQ file from Adams. All the information from the analysis, it's just in that file. So before beginning to work with that, we have to extract all that information from the Adams REQ file, and after we extract it, we have to begin working with that. Now, what we are doing, it's we, uh, ENCODE help us, uh, help the group, building a glyph work process which, al uh, which allow us to extract all the information from the R R Adams REQ file. So it's converting the Adams REQ information to time series history using the scripting uh, glyph which uses Python. Now after extracting all this information, uh, we are able to, do, to manage all the, the data in the way we want. So if you, if you want to filter all the information, we can just split the information and filtering uh, using uh, the waterfall filter. And after that, since it's a lot of information, we have uh, three different directions for all the components and all the sus front suspension and rear suspension. We can manage the data so we have everything in order. Uh, so in that, in that way, when we are uploading all the information to our DMS, we can do it just in a clean way. Also, in, this, the, in the same glyph, we, we can include the stats and damage process, which it's gonna help us find the uh, max and mid peaks, and also the damage for each of the components for all of the bands. And finally, we have the stats and damage report and the, hours and the output, which can be in, in the format we want. So, uh, instead of using a uh, different script and creating, a, uh, trying to extract all the information for all the components, which can be a lot of work and at some point you can make some mistakes because it's so much information, we're just doing everything in just one shot. Uh, so from using ENCODE, we can say that for our purposes, it's something intuitive, uh, it's easy to manipulate, uh, also, instead of using different softwares and uh, building up different scripts for all the powertrain analysis we were doing, we are just using one program, and it's just one step process, which it means that the, the learning curve is gonna be shorter, and also the time we are spending in doing this, it's also shorter. And now we can also uh, extract all the information from Adam's REQ files, which is really convenient for us. So we're using this, uh, we're, we're uh, using the support of from ENCODE for our analysis, not just in the powertrain part, but also in all the other analysis we're doing, but the front, <coughs> uh, front analysis, uh, uh, and the front suspension analysis, rear suspension analysis, and we do this day to day. So. Thank you very much for your time and attention. And if you have any questions, please go ahead.